My name is Kevin Andrews, and this is my story. I grew up in Ada. Uh, went to school here, went to high school here, went to elementary school here. Um, I've always lived here in Ada. I grew up knowing that there was a God. Uh, I grew up not knowing I needed a God. I uh, went through high school, graduated high school, and I really didn't have an identity in life. I started getting bored in life. Uh, I didn't have an identity, so I didn't know what else to do. Uh, I started getting into things that made me feel good inside. Um, apparently there was something missing, I had a hole, and I didn't know what that void was, not knowing that God was the answer. I started a uh, path of addiction, uh, drug use, uh, manipulation, lies. That was what my life was. I carried it over and over and over. Um, before I knew it, I was a full-blown addict. I had no identity still. And by this time, now I'm married. I have a wonderful family that I'm neglecting, that I'm not manning up taking care of. Really, when I look back on it now, that it's a, it's a blessing that I still have a family. Started manipulating doctors. Um, when that would run out, wouldn't be enough. I would take money out of our account and uh, go find it on the street. After a while, Nothing was ever good enough, nothing was enough. I never had enough, it was, it was a rat race. Um, I was a full-blown addict. So I went through several years of addiction and uh, finally, you, like I said, if you were an addict like I was, you know it's a full-time job. It is from the time you pass out at night and I'll go to sleep, but from the time you pass out tonight to the morning you wake up withdrawing. That's how my life was. You know, if you've ever gone through withdrawals of anything, it's like you have the worst flu symptoms that you can possibly have, and you're ab absolutely no use to anybody until you, and that's the only thing that you can comprehend, the only thing you can think about is, is fulfilling that void and getting rid of that sickness. It's unbearable. I have a handful of, you know, my substance that I'm using, and I know it's going to run out. Well, it's Christmas Eve. And being the swell dad I thought I was, I knew I had to come home and face the fire. I knew that, you know, holidays are worse for the addicts because stores are closed, doctors are closed, pharmacies are closed. So I go to bed and uh, I know what's coming in the morning. I, I know it, but I go to sleep. Morning I wake up, sure enough, you got the cold chills, your hair hurts, you know. I feel like you're gonna vomit. It's, it's, it's the real deal. I wake up and the sun's coming up and I'm thinking, I'm already in a panic. I'm in a panic not knowing what to do, not knowing that there's no lie or manipulation I can pull off anymore. My son comes running in the bedroom and uh, starts screaming and yelling, you know, Santa Claus has been here, Santa Claus is here. And I can remember looking at him and to the point of almost yelling and saying, leave me alone on Christmas morning. And I remember laying in that bed thinking, what have I done to my family? What have I done to myself? The next morning I woke up and I knew something had to change. Something had to change. Death would have been better than that. Something, something had to change that was of no use. So I get out of the detox center and uh, I'm thinking, man, this is going to be way better. You know, I don't have a dependency. I don't have to do the rat race. I don't have to do the manipulation every single day. And I get home. And I'm not happy. Uh, me and my wife are still arguing. I'm, I'm still short with my family. Brody, my son, he, uh, he wanted to play basketball. This was, uh, and there was a uh, local church here in Ada, it's, uh, First Baptist Church, Ada, Oklahoma, that offered a program called Upward. I remember my intentions were good. I remember this uh, gentleman I knew that later to, turned out to be one of these angels in my life named Jeff Giacomo there at First Baptist Church. He ran the up upper program. So I signed Brody up and I think I might have popped off one night and said, oh yeah, yeah, I'll coach. Jeff doesn't know me. You know, Jeff doesn't know anything about me. He moved in from Oklahoma City. I, uh, I lived here in Ada all my life. He told me later that one time that uh, on his steering wheel, he keeps a list of like 10, 15, 20 people's names that he prays for every day. And he showed me, walked me over there and that was my name. And I thought, oh my, there was someone that actually cares about me and my family. Is calling me, is asking me how I'm doing, and you know, if I know the Lord. And 
He's talking to me like he truly cares of what's going on in my life, and that blows me away. So I start getting involved, and Jeff DeGiacomo, 8 Oklahoma, First Baptist Church, cared enough to reach his hand out to me and lead me to the Lord. So I'm on cloud nine, you know, I've been saved, I feel good, I don't have a dependency, you know, there's someone actually that cares about me and my family. I run home, I tell my wife, you know, we, uh, she gets saved. Not to say it was all perfect or all the problems vanished, but that was a good time in our life. That was one of the first positive things that have happened in our life in 10, 12 years. Come to the present day, I've been a member of First Baptist Church three or four years. Um, I've been clean and sober ever since. My life has uh, taken on new meaning. God knew that I had to have proof and he allowed me to use my own will to get so far in a hole that that was the only way I was ever gonna trust him. This, this was my burning bush the whole time. This was my burning bush. This is my proof. You know, my family is proof. I live with these people. The, this is my proof that there's a God. God will save you. Um, God can pull you out of no matter what. I have tattoos on my arm. I'm not your typical church person. But I am your typical church person because I believe in God. I believe in the power of God. I believe in His Word. I believe if you apply His Word to your life, you will see a profound change. You will see a miracle. That is a miracle. Having God come into your life is a miracle and he is willing to give it to everybody. But something's different today. You want to run